So we're already late into 2023, and I think it's safe to say that there's not going to be a Pokemon game coming out this year because we got the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, which part two is coming out in about a month as of when I'm recording this video, roughly, which is pretty cool. I'm excited for the DLC part two. I think they're actually going to do an update for Scarlet and Violet in 2024. I feel like they're going to give us an update bringing in the mythical Pokemon. I made a video about the Gen 9 Mythical because there is not a Mythical Pokemon for Gen 9 right now, which is kind of crazy, but I made a video about that. And now my conclusion is that I think they're going to like give us an update sometime in early 2024, giving us some extra gameplay, hopefully extra gameplay, of the Mythical Pokemon. But I know one of the biggest questions right now is like, what what's the next Pokemon game going to be? which hopefully will be in 2024. We'll probably get some type of announcement, maybe early slash, I don't know, maybe like the first three or four months into 2024. Hopefully we'll get like another Pokemon present soon. Um, but I'm thinking it's either going to be a remake, a Legends game, or a spin-off type of Legends game. Not like a spin-off, it's still like mainline, but, but rather than like the regular Legends game, it's gonna be similar to Legends game, but it's like in the future, like the paradox version of a Legends Arceus, if that makes sense. That's my theory. Nothing's confirmed. I'm not saying anything's confirmed. Also, just really quickly, guys, I'm doing a giveaway for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is just subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and comment down below letting me know you want to be in the giveaway. And make sure to stay tuned for future videos. And then once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing that giveaway winner. Definitely not going to get a brand new generation next year because Scarlet and Violet just came out and they never released two generations in a row. We're probably going to wait a few more years for generation 10. So I'd say the next game could possibly be a gold and silver remake. We already have heart gold and soul silver, but I feel like it's possible for them to actually give us like a more modern remake, kind of like how they did with um, Pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee those are just gen 1 remakes pretty much just like just exactly how they were uh, originally but with better graphics or i guess i should say updated graphics because you know i think everyone prefers the og graphics for that you know pokemon let's go eevee and pikachu were we're okay i mean you know nothing special there but definitely fun pokemon games i guess but i feel like that's something they could do with pokemon gold and silver or maybe even like a crystal remake that would be pretty cool i kind of doubt it though because they'd probably just do a gold and silver remake i keep wanting to say heart gold and soul silver because i that's what i'm just used to saying heart gold and soul silver i'm not used to saying gold and silver so if they were to do a remake of gold and silver i really hope that they do it well because bdsp you know brilliant diamond shining pearl they were fun games but they had their issues and they just weren't unique enough they didn't stand out enough i guess I mean, I personally enjoyed playing them. Like, I feel like everyone still enjoyed playing the games, right? But, like, compared to, like, how Heart Gold and Soul Silver were to Gold and Silver, like, Heart Gold and Soul Silver were extremely good remakes. And Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, in my opinion, are also really good remakes. Um, which I don't think they're going to do a Gen 3 remake for a while again because that, that came out, what, 2014? Maybe 15? Something like that? I can't remember. I think 2014 those games came out which is not that long ago. So I feel like they might make Gen 2 remakes. And of course they could also do another Legends game. So Legends Arceus was like an ancient prequel type of thing to um, Gen 4. So they might do that with Gen 2. That would be pretty cool. Or they could, li they could literally do any generation. They could pick any generation of Pokemon they want and do a Legends game out of where it takes place like in the past which I think would be really cool. I think I'd probably want to see Gen 2 the most, but I would be down for anything. I literally wouldn't care. Like, even a Gen 1 like version of a Pokemon Legends game would be really cool. Let me know in the comments down below what type of Legends game you would actually want to see. I've made, like, videos about Legends games that could possibly come out and gave you guys, like, little storylines or whatever that I either came up with or found online. Like, I did Legends Eternatus recently, which would have been... Uh, for which would be for gen 8 which is kind of fun to think about you know pokemon legend celebi legends mew and everything there's just endless options for that which is the coolest part about the pokemon legends game in my opinion and you could there's so much creativity that can go behind that too because like it's the base it's like a baseline pokemon game you know what i'm saying like you still catch pokemon you still hunt for pokemon and stuff and discover the world it's just it's a really cool idea and everyone loved legends arceus like people received those games or that game i should say really well i loved it i think it's the best pokemon game on the switch 
and I really hope we do get another Legends game in the future. Nintendo, the Pokemon Company, whatever, Game Freak, no one's announced anything or said anything about another Legends game, so it's debatable whether or not those will ever come out again, or if that was just a one-time thing. I'd like to say we would get another one just because of how successful it was. I mean, it's not like the most successful Pokemon game on the planet, but it was definitely a really successful Pokemon game. Like, there's no denying that. And I think they could have a, a lot of fun with that. And I think the fans would also have a lot of fun with that. Also, this is like besides the point completely, but the shiny noise when you find a shiny Pokemon in Legends Arceus is amazing. I don't know why we don't have that in Scarlet and Violet. So whatever the next Pokemon game is, and if there is like, oh, if it's like open world and there's like wild Pokemon running around, I hope we get that shiny noise if there's a shiny Pokemon that has spawned because it's, it's so hard sometimes. Sometimes it's obvious, but sometimes it's so hard to see a shiny Pokemon if you don't really know what you're looking at. Some of them are easy, like Heracross, for example, I think turns like completely pink from like a navy blue. So it's like a Pokemon like that you could pretty much spot instantly, but you know what I'm saying? I think, I think it's best to go with the shiny noise. And the last idea of like a game they might possibly could release would be like a Pokemon Paradox version of Legends Arceus where it takes place in the future and you have to do different tasks and stuff to either like change the future or make sure things don't happen. In this Pokemon game, let's just say in the Unova region, like a hundred years or two hundred years, I mean even like a thousand years after Black and White 2 takes place, but then you have to like time travel back in time to change some type of events from happening or prevent things from happening, maybe prevent the massive war or changing the outcome of the war. I think something like that would be pretty cool. I don't know why I immediately go to war when I think of like a Pokemon storyline. I think it's just because those are like the most interesting storylines to see how Pokemon and like humans interact with each other and how the Pokemon might get angry or like legendary Pokemon coming in here and there. You know what I'm saying? I think it's pretty cool stuff. I think a future Pokemon game would be pretty cool as long as they don't make it like too techy, like too futuristic, too weird. I, I don't think they would because it's Pokemon, but at the same time, you never know because it's it's Pokemon, you know? So if they were to do that, I would hope it would still be like a nature outdoor feeling, like where you, like you're exploring the outdoors and the wilderness. And I don't know how they would design all the Pokemon because it'd be like regular looking Pokemon. And then there would also probably be regional variants of different type of Paradox, whatever versions of previous Pokemon that we already have. And if it takes place in the Nova region, then it would be just like Paradox Gen 5 Pokemon, which would be pretty cool to see. I think the question also is, is like, is it going to be on the Switch or the next console? Because there's also been leaks about the Switch 2 or whatever they're going to call it. Will the next Pokemon game even be on the regular Nintendo Switch or the next console? I think the recent leaks and rumors suggest that like the next Nintendo console might just be a Switch with a dual screen, which would be pretty cool, kind of like a DS. And if that's the case, it would be amazing to get black and white remakes because we'd have the dual screen. I know that uh, Diamond and Pearl were on the DS and they did that on one screen, but it's just better in two screens in my opinion. So imagine a Pokemon black and white remake on the Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever they're going to call it with a dual screen setup. I'd, I think that would be really cool. And I also wonder if the next Switch console, whatever it's going to be, would even read Nintendo Switch cartridges. I'd hope so, honestly, but I guess we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.